If you cannot tell, I just got back from a long run. Wow, looking real good. <laughs> um, I thought this weekend would be a fun one just to vlog, and I don't have too much going on. Dom is on a bachelor trip. I'm actually so jealous. He is in Bozeman, Montana, and I've been wanting to go there for so long, so I'm jealous that he got to go there before me, but um, because he's away and we'd been on vacation for this week, this is going to kind of be a weekend where I... Um, catch up with some friends, but also just run errands and all that good stuff. So I thought it'd be fun just to do a little weekend vlog. Woke up this morning at 5.45 to go for my long run and I ended up going seven miles and literally just got back. I'm seriously disgusting. I really need a shower. My stomach is kind of hurting, but I know I need to eat. So I'm probably going to shower. Then I'll cook some breakfast. Then I have a few things I want to get done before I go and meet up with one of my friends around like 12.45. Should be a fun morning. literally have been sitting here like a bump on a log for the past like hour and a half. My stomach is still giving me some issues, but I'm leaving in 30 minutes to go to lunch. So hopefully I'm all better by then and can enjoy lunch. It's also a 40 minute drive. So hopefully I'm all good by then. Like I mentioned, I have like 30 minutes until I meet up with my friend for lunch. So I think I'm going to start to plan our groceries. Um, I think I mentioned on Instagram that I am going to give up caffeine. I haven't decided when I'm going to transition from drinking and I drink a cup of coffee every single morning So I don't know if I'm just gonna like completely stop or like kind of slowly stop drinking it But I also am going to try to stop eating gluten as much my stomach has been hurting a lot more recently not related to the stomach issues I'm having today, I don't think, but I'm just curious if it's gluten that's causing some like irritation in my stomach or something like that. So I'm trying to look up some recipes that are gluten-free and then we know dairy causes Dom's stomach to be upset. So I'm looking up all dairy and gluten-free recipes, which I know isn't that hard, but majority of our recipes contain either one of those. So um, I feel like I'm gonna have to like explore some other websites and just recipe developers that I haven't explored before. So that should be fun, but it'll probably take a little bit of time, which is why I wanna use this 30 minutes now and use it wisely since I literally just threw away my entire morning not doing anything at all. My desk is kind of a hot mess right now. It's a pretty small desk, but I feel like I need to do some rearranging because it stresses me out like every single day. There's just not enough space and there's just, it's just not, it's not working out for me. But anyways, I wanted to show y'all uh, how we plan our meals. So we switch off between like who finds the recipes and everything. But since Dom's out of town, I'm going to find them for this week. And I use this, um, it's just like a weekly overview. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a weekly overview thing. It's from Papier, 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 probably Papier. I feel like I never know how to pronounce anything in my videos, but it's just from Papier and I really like it because um, I'll show y'all how I fill it in, but it has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then the weekend. And I just go in and I write out what recipes we're going to be eating each day. And if it makes enough for leftovers, then I'll kind of transfer it over to the next day. So plan everything out on here. And then, um, I usually make the, my grocery list, wow, words are hard. I usually make my grocery list on my phone. And as I'm like writing this, if I just like think of other things that we need, like if we need almond milk and that's not used in any of the recipes or something like that, then I just kind of write it along on the side right here. So that's definitely not what this um, planner is used for, but it's worked really well for us and planning out meals has definitely been the key to success or else we end up eating out way too much. I just pulled into lunch. We're going to HG Supply Co. If you're in this area, it is so good. I haven't been in such a long time, so I'm so excited. I'm literally starving. All I've had are the, is that one bagel. Um, so yeah, I'm very hungry and just so excited to see my friend. I 
I thought today would be like so much fun to vlog, but I'm literally so tired. We were at lunch for three and a half hours, I think. Um, I just got back like 45 minutes ago and it's 6.15 now. Um, we had so much fun, but by the end of it, I was like, I am so tired. So I literally have just been laying in bed because I do not have the energy to do anything. So I am not that hungry. I got that giant salad and ate all of it. It was so good. I love HG. Um, we also got some cashew queso, which I did not film, but as always, it was so good. Um, but I still need to get a few things done just so I'm not working all day tomorrow. I might try and place our grocery order, but I don't know. I'm just so tired. I don't know why I'm so tired. I guess I didn't get as much sleep as I normally do this past week, so maybe that's why I'm tired, but I'm like, really all that sounds good right now is like eating cookies and ice cream and like reading a book or watching like youtube or something so i don't know i might see if i can get a few things done and we'll just see what happens Good morning, I just made my coffee and am waiting for my bagel to get done. Clearly on a bagel cake. I literally am like so discouraged about filming in the kitchen because the lighting is so bad in here. I envy everyone with the bright like white and light kitchens because that is what I want. But uh, the yellow lighting is just really not the vibe. Like our place is so cute, but for some reason the lighting is just, it's just not it. It doesn't translate well to the camera. but. Anyways, I am just having a really slow morning. I woke up about 30 minutes ago and was just kind of like laying in bed on my phone, you know. Um, and now I am going to drink my coffee in bed and just read a book. I just started one last night. It's called look it's called local woman missing i believe and it's really good so far so i haven't been reading as much as i used to and i love reading and so i feel like just giving myself some time to read this morning will really fill my cup I just picked up our online grocery order and we've been doing that probably for the past few months now. We started doing it the last few weeks when we were in Austin and just do it now at Kroger since there's not an H-E-B here. We love H-E-B, miss H-E-B. But anyways, it just makes grocery shopping so much easier. So highly recommend that. But I think I'm going to unload everything now and do like a fridge clean out because our fridge is seriously a disaster and I feel like we've been having to throw out or compost like so much food because we just don't even know what's in there and like we're not storing our veggies and fruits in the right way and so things are just going bad a lot faster than I know they should like I know we could store it properly and they would last way longer so I think I'm gonna spend some time on our fridge and just like chopping some things right now before I put them away I think that'll make me feel a lot better I'm starting ultra marathon training this week and I don't know if anyone else is is this way but I feel like before like training, I don't know, the past few weeks have just been a lot more leisurely for me. And so now that I'm about to get back into like a more like strict kind of regimented routine, I really want to feel like my space is more organized and a lot like more refreshing. And I don't know, I, our place has just been a little disorganized and like our closet needs some organization and I've still got some clothes I want to list on Poshmark and whatnot. So I think I'm going to spend um, a good chunk of time not only like doing our regular like weekly cleaning but I'm also going to spend some time just like going through stuff and making sure everything is like stored and organized properly just because I really hate clutter and I feel like our place gets cluttered very quickly and this is literally 400 square feet so it stresses me out very fast when it's not that clean because you can just like sense it around you so that's my plan for the next few hours Hey guys, we're looking so much better. We got an organized freezer. I wish there was ice cream in there. <laughs> and a much more organized fridge. God bless. I 
really need to get a tripod for my camera because it's literally just stacked on like a bunch of random things right now and I'm slumping to make sure I fit into the frame. But anyways, um, Outdoor Voices sent me a package with two different pieces I mentioned earlier, at least I think I did, um, that I'm an ambassador for them now, which I'm so excited about. I love their pieces for both working out and just for like leisure. I think they're all so cute and so comfortable. I have run probably three or four marathons in their Hudson shorts. So I love them. I'm a huge fan. If you follow me on either TikTok or Instagram, you've probably seen me wearing both their shorts and one of their like crop tops. So I'm super excited just to be an ambassador for them now because I think they're an incredible company that makes great pieces. They sent me their everyday short sleeve top, which I have this in gray. It kind of feels like they're using a different material now. I don't know if they changed it, but got it in my same size as the other one. I just tried it on and it is so comfortable. I love this shirt and I feel like it's also like the perfect length and I did a video on TikTok with trying everything on so if you want to see what it looks like long definitely go check that out but I love the color and I think it's so much fun I don't have any like workout tops in this color so I'm really excited about it then I'm so excited because they sent these shorts. They're the Relay shorts, which like I mentioned, I have the Hudson shorts, but I've been eyeing these. I'm super intrigued because they're literally so soft. Like they feel so good on, they look so cute, but they are unlined and I feel like I haven't worn unlined shorts since I was in like kindergarten. I don't know if y'all used to have those like wind shorts that had like your name on the butt. Like that's literally what I thought of when I thought of unlined shorts because I haven't worn anything like that in so long. But I've seen other people talk about how they love running in them. so. I ended up sizing up. I was kind of going back and forth, but um, just wanted to size up just because since they're not lined, I was like, I don't want them to be too tight. And then it's just, that would not be a good situation for anyone. <laughs> so got them to size up and I really like how they fit. So I'm definitely going to do a test run in them later this week. So I will be sharing that probably on my TikTok and my Instagram, but I really like them. And I really like um, this fun pattern too. They have a couple different colors. They had a really cute, like hot, pink but I thought this marble was really fun. I have failed miserably. I literally have not vlogged the majority of today. I'm like okay it is 7 30. Did not record a single thing this afternoon so pretty much cleaned, took a nap, ate like leftovers. Someone came over to see our house so I like, picked up really fast and then finished cleaning after she had left and after that I'm like what did I even do? Like I feel like I didn't do anything exciting which is why I was like I've got nothing, nothing to film, but I ate dinner with my parents, which was really fun. I could have recorded that, but just ate outside with them. And then I went on a walk and now it's 7.30. So I'm leaving to go pick up Dom from the airport in about an hour and a half. He gets in so late, <laughs> not so late, but definitely when I would normally be asleep. So I've got like another hour and a half and I'm probably just gonna read. So I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I feel like this was probably like the most boring vlog ever, but honestly, this is like a very realistic look at how my weekends, if they all, like this is like my ideal weekend. I just get some things done, I get to relax, get to see a friend. Obviously an ideal weekend would be like getting to do things with Dom too, but since he wasn't here, like this is how I enjoy spending my free time and like getting set up for success for this week. So I hope this wasn't too boring. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. And I would just love to hear what kind of videos you're interested in seeing on YouTube. Um, if you're interested in seeing like videos with training and kind of my thoughts as I'm training for the ultra marathon, uh, more just like vlogs like this, maybe more, like informational videos for running and like sharing the things that I'm using. I would just love to hear your opinions, um, especially if you are enjoying my YouTube videos. We'd just love to hear what you want because I wanna make sure I'm producing content that you enjoy. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.